In this lesson, we are going to be looking at how we write these three numbers in the third and final form, which is the decimal form. And in my fourth row, uh, counting from top down, I would have in blue here my decimal form. And in my units column, I would have a In my tens column, I would have a 10. In my hundreds column, I would have a 100. In my thousand column, I would have a thousand and so on and so forth. And if you notice to the right of my point, I would have a 0 0.1. Then I would in my tenth column, then I would have a 0 0.01 in my hundredth column. And I would have a 0 0.001 in my thousand column. Okay. So having said that, let's look at how we write part A762.54 in the decimal form. Now, again, the number is already here in the place value chart. So all I'm going to be doing again, and I'm using the terms now, my face value, the digit that is in the hundreds column is a seven. So the face value of seven is seven. So I'm going to say seven times a hundred, and that would give me 700. So here for part A, I had I took the face value of 7 multiplied by the place value and I get 700. So I have a 700 plus and then in the second column in my tens column here, I have a 6. So I'm going to use that 6 to multiply the column that it is in, the place value, which is tens. So I'm saying 6 times 10 would give me 60. Okay, and I'm adding that to um, the face value of the digit in my units column and the face value is 2 so I'm saying 2 times 1 is 2 so I have a 2 there now I'm adding that to and if you look carefully now in my tenth column I would have a 5 so I'm saying 5 times 0 0.1 and 5 times 0 0.1 would give me a 0 0.1 five okay and I'm adding that to the four would fall in my hundredth column and I'm saying four times zero point zero one and you can try these on your calculator and you'll see that you get by the same value I would have a zero point zero four okay so that's how we represent the first number let's look at how we represent the second number in part B alright so part B here we would have a five is in the 10,000 columns. So I would take the face value of my digit here and the face value of 5 is 5. So I'm saying 5 times the column that I'm in and I'm in the 10,000 columns. So 5 times 10,000 would give me a 50,000. Okay, so I have 50, 1, 2, 3, and I'm, that's being added to. There's a 3 in my 1,000 columns. So I'm saying 3 times a 1,000 would give me 3,000. That's one, two, three. And then I'm adding to that what's in my hundreds column. And I have a nine in my hundreds column. So I'm saying nine times a hundred would give me 900. And that's 900. And I'm adding to what is in my tens column. And in my tens column, I have a zero times 10. And I'm saying zero times 10, any number that is multiplied by zero will result in a zero. So zero times 10 is zero. So in my in my uni, in my tens column rather, the value that is there is zero. So I just put a zero as a placeholder, okay? Good, and then I'm adding to that in my units column, I have a two. So I'm multiplying the face value of my digit there, which is two times the place value, which is one. So two ones will give me two. Okay, and to that I'm adding now, I have a seven in my 10th column. So I've, I've gone across the decimal point. So I'm going to say seven times 0 0.1, and that would give me a 0 0.1. Seven. Okay, and that's it. All right. Let's quickly look at part C now. Okay, and let's see what we get from that. Now in part C, I have a four in my thousand column. So the face value of four is four. So I'm going to say four times the place value, which is a thousand, and that would give me four thousand. So I would have a four thousand. One, two, three, plus a one is in my hundreds column and a, since a one is in my hundreds column I would have a 
1 times 100 would give me 100. So I would have 100 here. And that's being added to a 5, which is in my tens column. So I would have 5 times 10 would give me 50. Plus, I would have a 0 in my units column. And 0 times 1 would give me 0 again. So I'm adding that now to, I'm moving across my decimal point. So I have an 8 in the tenth. And if you notice, the tenth has the same value as 0 0.1. So I'm saying 8 times 0 0.1 would give me a 0 0.8. And that's being added to in my hundredth column, I have a 3 times 0 0.01, and that would give me 0 0.03. And I'm adding to that now a 6 times a thousandth, which is 0 0.001. So I would have a 0 0.006, okay? And that's how we represent numbers in the decimal form, okay? Any questions, feel free to leave a comment or ask a question and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.